It's all you can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm here at the Wicked Spoon Buffet at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. Did you see the line? There's no line. It's Thursday night, dinner time. Now, I used to say that this buffet was my favorite buffet in Las Vegas. Lately though, I've been saying that it's the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. But tonight I'm gonna find out for sure which is the best buffet in Las Vegas right now. Could be this one. I mean, it's a little bit cheaper and there's no wait. So let's see what there is to eat. Now one of my most favorite foods in the world is fried chicken and they do have it here at the Wicked Spoon. They call it Wicked Fried Chicken because it's a little spicy. But everybody's favorite part of a buffet, except vegan, sorry vegans, is the meat. Now this isn't as elaborate as the Bacchanal, but they definitely have some good looking meat. That looks really good right there. What type of meat is that right there? That's a top sirloin. Oh, that would be great. Uh, I'll come back to that. All right. Sorry. All right. I made one error. I don't have a plate. <laughs> Gotta get this plate. In the meantime, let's look at the vegetables. Hey, vegans and vegetarians. Here's some charred green beans for, oh, well, actually, no, there's bacon in there. <laughs> That's why it looks so good to me. All right, let me get that. Loaded mashed potatoes. This will be good with that, that meat. Oh yeah, they've got pork shoulder, sausage, and some jerk chicken. Hi, right, can I get some of the sirloin and some prime rib? Absolutely. There's your sirloin, sir. Thank you. Hey, and a piece of the fry. Awesome, thank you so much. Very welcome. Garlic. The prime rib? Or would you like the sirloin? Prime rib? All right. How about a little bit of this beef au jus? There you are. Very welcome. Got a big knife, maybe I need that. And horseradish. And of course, fried chicken. All right, the Wicked Spoon definitely wins on wait time and price, but what about the food? What about the taste? That's definitely going to be the deciding factor. So let's see how it is. Now this meat is a little rare for my taste, but that's just me. It's just my taste. I'm going to try the sirloin. A little more done. And who knows? I mean, maybe when I taste the prime rib, I'll be like, it's amazing. Mmm. Well, this sirloin is pretty amazing. Bacon, the bacon green beans. Mm. Oh, that's a good bacon flavor. Okay, but what about this this prime rib? This is always the star of buffet meats. So let's see how it is here at the Wicked Spoon. I know, I need some. Where's that horseradish? I think it's all, just all mixed up with it. everything else. Well, it's a buffet. There's the horseradish. It doesn't seem as tender as the sirloin. Yes. Yes, I know. This needs to be cooked more. 
How about the fried chicken? Right. This is what I'm talking about. Fried chicken. I love fried chicken. This is definitely better than the fried chicken on the Bacchanal buffet. I'm not even sure they have fried chicken. They may have like chicken and waffles sometimes. I don't know, but this is good fried chicken. The only thing that would be better is if they have whole pieces, you know, not just the wings, all the, all the chicken, but, but this will do. All right, let's see what else there is to eat there. They have some pretty good salads here. This is kale and beets, two of my least favorite vegetables, probably my absolute two least favorite vegetables. But you gotta have some vegetables, so they do have salads here. It's actually look pretty good. There's even like shrimp cocktail, individual shrimp cocktails. And over here, oh, look at that. Marble potatoes. Green kale and cauliflower gratin. Oh, there's some some action station going on over here. I think this is a uh, oh, like a seafood. So you have a choice of butter sauce or tomato sauce for your mixed seafood. Oh, here it is, seafood bar. Dover sole, rockfish, white cod shrimp, mussels, and clams. There's more to eat down here. Carne asada tacos, inflated right here before your very eyes. Chicken tikka masala. Oh, here's the crab legs. Everybody's favorite, except mine. Shrimp and grits though. I do like these. All right, so I guess I better get in line for that uh, seafood bar. It's also a mac and cheese bar, because I see some mac and cheese being prepared over here as well. You can get bacon, ham, short rib, Italian sausage. I wonder if I can get all that with my seafood too. Can I just have a mac and cheese seafood plate? I don't know if that would be good or not. This stuff looks good. Uh, can I just get the seafood, like all the seafood? A little bit of everything, yeah. Thank you. All right, you like salt, pepper, and garlic, sir? Uh, yeah, everything. Yeah, a little oil. You like spicy? Uh, not too spicy. No spicy. Maybe no spicy. No spicy. All right, we avoid the spicy. <laughs> And you like butter sauce or tomato saffron? Let's try tomato sauce. Tomato saffron, all right. Looks good, and it's got butter in it too. Fresh lemon. And I'm gonna cover for a little bit, okay? Okay, thank you. Hello. All right, so now I just have to wait for my seafood and Looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure it'll be worth the wait. There's some more fruit salads over here. And there's actually actual fruit right here. Here you go, vegans. <laughs> and there's, there's also a vegetable ceviche, Asian style sea, seafood ceviche, it says. Actually, looks pretty good. Oh, and the chipotle shrimp ceviche. All right, I'm waiting for my seafood. I know it's gonna be worth the wait. I am so excited right now. I definitely want my seafood cooked, so I don't mind waiting. And there's mac and cheese being made here as well. Awesome, that looks so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh. All right, seafood. Now you know if you watched my video before, I'm not the biggest seafood lover out there, but that's usually the cold crab legs, the, the cold seafood. This seafood is hot, freshly made. I saw it made right in front of me. Let's see how it is. Let's start with shrimp. Mm. Muscle. Mm. Oh, you know, the flavor is all in this sauce because of the butter, the clam. It looks like a butter sauce, but it's tomato with lots of butter. Fish. Mm. Well, yeah, definitely this sauce is what you want. I think I'm becoming a seafood lover. <laughs> Thank you. Napkins. I mean, this just, I just keep pulling out big chunks of, you know, seafood and fish and shrimp. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like finding treasure. Treasures under the sea. I, I, this might be a good time to to tell you how much this buffet costs. Forty two dollars. Forty two dollars per person. That's cheaper than the Bacchanal by oh I don't know is it twenty five dollars? And there's no there's no weight. You can even save more money by coming for a late lunch because they don't shut down between dinner and lunch and you can just slide into the, the seafood bar over there. All right, now I've had some pretty amazing food already and I've only been down one side of the buffet. There's a whole other half of the buffet here. There's even some crazier stuff here. This is squid ink chitara, some kind of pasta, I guess, and pork bolognese. There's also pizzas right here. Margarita. And some Chardonnay charred salmon. Down here is pretty much my favorite part of the buffet, and that's the Asian food. They got some crazy stuff here. Bone marrow with fig glaze. Duck wings with soy caramel glaze. Udon noodles and chili jam clams. Sam Chang chicken, some kind of Korean flavor spice. Tuna poke. Meat poke. And this is a pho station, yeah, for some pho. You can make your own pho. Cha shu pork. Fried rice. And some dim sum down here. Shrimp shumai. The chicken and pork gyoza. I still see that there's no meat in these. I know where to get it, over there at that seafood station. Yeah, last time I also couldn't find the marrow in the bone marrow. But it looks like this time, they got some that are full of it. Some breads to stick it on. 
right, so the first thing I've got to find out is, are there clams in these clam shells? I see one. I see quite a few in here now. Mm. It's like a sweet soy sauce. Mm. These are good. Plenty of meat. Although it's a little, you have to get a little meat at a time. Mm. But the sauce is good. In fact, Dip my gyoza in this sauce. Mm. Looks good. How about the shumai? Dim sum is just average. I mean, I gotta say, the Bacchanal buffet. If I just wanted to eat Asian food, that's where I would go for a buffet in Las Vegas. That's the best. That's the best Asian food on any on any Las Vegas buffet is at the Bacchanal, not here. But we haven't made a final decision yet. There's more to eat, including this bone marrow. I wasn't that huge of a fan of last time, but. Uh, uh. It's better on bread. <laughs> okay, here we go. This tastes kind of like beef fat. It's a delicacy though, and you can get it here at the Wicked Spoon. All right, and there is still more to eat. I mean, that's one of the great things about buffets. There's always these little sides and corners and avenues and alleyways that you may not have noticed before. Because look right here, there's all sorts of deli meats and pickled peppers. And right around here is the cheeses. This is the, the Barely Buzz White Cheddar. Big John's Cage and Cheddar. Oh, those look like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of big fruit cube or something. And Fontina cheese. So if you're a cheese lover, or if you're a sweet corn chowder lover, they have it. Creamy tomato basil soup. Actually, that's pretty good. Should I get soup? There's bread. Should I get bread? I never get bread. Certainly plenty of butter. I could get soup and salad and cheese and butter. Now I'm hoping that this butter is better than the so-called beef butter from the bone marrow. Enough. That's good butter. All right, I am I am just like in love with the seafood here at the Wicked Spoon. Let's see how the shrimp is. Oh. That's spicy. You know what that needs? Some butter. Much better. I also have, of course, the shrimp and grits. And my carne asada taco. Nice and soft, looks meaty, a little cheesy.
That's good. That tastes like real Mexican flavor, man. And the uh, shrimp and grits. Okay, that's enough seafood. All right, well, so far there's been things I, I really liked on this buffet and some things I, I didn't like so much. That, that's true at the Bach and all. It's true just about every buffet you go to. So there's gotta be one deciding factor between here and the Bach and all buffet. So it's gonna be dessert. And they do have some cute desserts here. They got raspberry macarons and raspberry white chocolate cones lemon hazelnut macarons. They even have bourbon white chocolate chip bread pudding. And red velvet kazuki. But I gotta say my favorite dessert here at the Wicked Spoon is the gelato. They have so many interesting flavors here. There's coffee white chocolate, salted peanut caramel. Bananas Foster, and of course, vanilla, chocolate, chocolate is sugar free, and there's sorbet, watermelon, raspberry, mango passion fruit, and tangerine grapefruit. I mean, it's just so colorful. It just, uh, it, I get excited just looking at it. And there's sprinkles, if you want to make it even more exciting. Sprinkle it up with rainbow sprinkles, butterfingers, chocolate ribbons, Reese's, or M&M's. And there's even lollipops and saltwater taffy. And there's more. I'm telling you, the desserts here, well, the desserts at Bacchanal are pretty good, too. <laughs> this is going to be a tough competition. These are awfully pretty desserts. This is green tea lychee cream puff that was a mango passion fruit zenith cake and that was matcha strawberry yuzu mousse cake that's peanut butter and jelly chocolate cake and a caramel apple pie canola and just when you thought it was over there's actually still cookies macaroons candy bar cheesecake carrot cake creme brulee Pina Colada Tres Leches. And some sugar free. This here is a cheesecake brownie. It's labeled sugar free. Here's vegan here for the for the vegans. Vegan mango tapioca with edible gold. They spare no expense for the vegans. Chocolate orange cupcake. I'm telling you, this is still dessert, so I'm not done yet. Gluten-free chocolate chip cookies, a gluten-free warm vegan cake. It's another vegan dessert. Cherry apple compote and apple cobbler. Oh, wow. Now that is how you do buffet desserts. All right, I got the the lychee green tea cream puff, the apple pie canolo, a candy bar cheesecake. Got a couple of these, these mousse cones, because I just like waffle cones, little mini waffle cones, and vanilla gelato. It's my favorite flavor. All right, let's see how it is. I know how it is. I've had it here so many times. What's better? The vanilla ice cream and a chocolate waffle cone. Mm. Raspberry mousse. Mmm. That's good.
lychee cream puff. selection. Everything's top notch. I mean, if you like things like bone marrow, I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs> but the things I love, fried chicken wings, mashed potatoes, <laughs> desserts, gelato. It's all top notch too. Is it better than the Bacchanal? It's definitely cheaper. The line is definitely shorter. Is the food just as good or better? Not really. It's actually better at the Bacchanal. So congratulations to Caesars Palace. The Bacchanal Buffet wins again. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the Wicked Spoon or the Bacchanal Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more because there's always more to eat. And it's all you can Vegas.